everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. So if you didn't know, this book was actually the 2014 Prince Award winner, and it also won another award, I believe, for the LGP... Oh, I can never get that acronym right. LGBTQ aspects of it. I think it's, I want to say it's like the Stonewall Prize. I'm not positive, but it did win two awards, so I was expecting this book to be very great. And if you didn't know, this book tells the story of two twins, Noah and Jude, and they were really, really close when they were like 13, but then they've kind of been driven apart. So this book is told in dual perspective from Noah and Jude. I believe it's Noah, yeah, Noah is, uh, he's the one who is is telling the story from when they're 13 and then Jude is telling the story from the present day when I believe they're 16. So I wasn't expecting to enjoy this book in the way that it did. I was hoping to enjoy it after hearing all the rave reviews but I really thought that it wasn't really what I was expecting from the synopsis. I don't really think the synopsis does it justice. Um, it focuses on obviously the twins relationship but it leaves out a very major part of their lives which is art. They are artists like completely. It's such a huge part of their lives. Their mother is an art professor I believe and it's just something that is really really important to the story and that's where most of the symbolism and metaphor all of that comes from. And that was probably my favorite part of the story was the um, artistic aspect to it. I thought it added so much to the writing, like the metaphors, f like with the art and all of that was just incredible. And their relationship has a lot to do with the art that they make as well. Like it really like brings them together, but also kind of tears them apart. And I just found that dy dynamic to be really, really interesting. I really loved um, Noah. He like draws and paints a lot and I really loved his descriptions of things. He would describe them in terms of paintings and I thought for Jandy Nelson to be writing it like that was just so interesting. And their art is kind of how they find themselves and that's why I think leaving it out of the synopsis really just kind of doesn't do it justice because it's just such an important thing to the story. Like it does briefly mention that Noah like it does briefly mention that Noah is almost always drawing but it kind of leaves Jude out of that and I just thought that it was just such an important thing to the story that it really should have been more in the synopsis. Like that's not a major thing. I just really really loved the artistic aspect to it and that's why I'm mentioning it because I just thought it added so much to the story and honestly the writing of it was beautiful. All of the artistic metaphors and just like any other metaphor was amazing. The symbolism was just so intense and deep it just satisfied the English major in me. I really really enjoyed it. I did really enjoy the characters. I really liked how you had Noah's chapter from when they were 13 and you kind of got his understanding like his kind of bird's eye view understanding of Jude and then you had Jude's chapters from when they're 16 and you got the same thing from her but in reverse and I really liked seeing how they kind of understood each other and then you would also get to get into their heads and see like what they were actually thinking if that makes sense. I really liked kind of seeing how their understanding of each other kind of matched like what they were actually feeling. It made for a very interesting relationship dynamic I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think Jude was my favorite character. I just really liked how like confused she was I guess. I just thought that that made her very interesting and mysterious. She was a very unique character. I really liked Noah as well. He was very unique too but my favorite thing about him would be his like him as an artist and how he would describe people. I just loved that. I really really did but I really liked the relationship. It was very interesting to see how they interacted when they were 13 and then how they interacted when they were 16 and to see like kind of the change from that was very very interesting. I've said interesting so many times in this review. My one complaint would be the fact that the chapters are like 90 pages long. Um, I didn't really like that. It just kind of bugged me. I guess they're more like sections. I don't know. I just was kind of wishing for like if it had been like part one Jude blah 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 and then you have chapters within that I think that would have made this kind of an easier 
like read I guess it doesn't really affect it that much it's a really minor thing but it just kind of irked me because I like nice short chapters like I think 30 or 40 page chapters are fine but that's like the most I think that's the most but that's a really really minor thing because it didn't really take away from the story at all or the writing so I think that's really all I have to say about this book I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars I really 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 liked it I just didn't really love it which is why I only gave it 4.5 stars but I like I said I thought it was still really good I would definitely recommend it to you guys I think the writing is fantastic and the characters are so interesting really it's just like the this book is a work of art in itself because of like how you can tell how intricate intricately woven this is and you can just see how much heart and soul and just blood sweat and tears and just all the work that Jandy Nelson put into it it really really paid off and I think it was very well deserving of the Prince Award so I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you guys in the next one bye